Hey Gemini, welcome to your February 2020 reading. I'm Charlene Lozat. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our community. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Comment below, let me know what your thoughts were and also subscribe to the channel if you're called to. I want to give some love to my patron goddess, my deity, who I am entirely devoted to, the Morrigan. And I've also lit some candles behind us because it's February, it's the month of love. So I've lit a love candle and I've got white going because today is the new moon in Aquarius. That's when I'm filming this. And so obviously we want to uh, project that positive radiant energy out and uh, the red candle for the Morrigan. All right, let's get started. In, ooh, yes, this may resonate with you if you have sun, moon, rising, and or Venus in Gemini. Keep in mind that this video may not resonate with everybody. So if you feel like it doesn't, go check out your other signs. Um, there's a link in the description box below that will help you uh, create a natal chart if you don't know what those signs are. <sighs> okay, the way I do these readings, three cards for general overall monthly energies, three cards for love, and three cards for career and finances. Gemini, what is going on? Um, Gemini, this month you are literally like hot. Actual, literal. People have their eyes on you. People are coming up to you. People are finding you so incredibly attractive, Gemini. They are literally like looking at you and like wanting. <laughs> They're <laughs> angels. Okay. So my guides and, you know, my spirits that come through and, and channel through and share with these messages with through me for you obviously are similar in terms of personality, right? So the guides that we have, the people that connect with us from the other world that come through to us um, when we are connected with a higher power and the higher source, their personalities often mirror like the, the person who's channeling's personalities. <laughs> my guides, if you've been watching my videos for a while, my guides are hilarious. They say the most ridiculous things in the world sometimes. There you are. Okay, okay. Um, they say the most ridiculous things to me in the world sometimes. <sighs> Do you know? So remember I was saying that... Oh my goodness, what's happening here? Um, remember how I was saying that, uh, that you were going to be hot? Okay, like people were gonna be coming after you. Okay, okay, all these cards are falling. That people were gonna want to like be around you and they're gonna be thinking you're so hot. I literally heard people are gonna want a piece of your ass. I heard somebody's gonna come after your fine ass or a piece of your ass. Apparently some of you are extremely physically attractive as well and you might have a nice booty. Well then. So silly so silly there you are queen of wands creative you are not only stunning internally but externally as well you radiate confidence you are literally a creative being you are in your power you are literally like on fire uh again there is some younger energy that's going to be coming on to you this is the general overall energy they're going to be giving you some type of messages some of you might have kids or are planning kids um, because I'm seeing what I'm seeing here is with this 10 of cups as your overall energy, it's you're looking for that partnership, you're looking for that relationship, um, that connection where you can build a family where it's a soulmate connection where you have that beautiful bond, um, that connection with these people in your life um, who end up being uh, your family and who you um, love and are with and just have such a beautiful energy with. This is what you're going after. This is smack dab in the middle of your reading. This Ten of Cups, this beautiful wish fulfillment, happy life, happy wife energy. Some of you might be planning for a kid. Some of you might be getting pregnant. Some of you might be getting messages from a younger energy. This younger energy is going to be coming over and giving you some type of offer. Um, I'm not feeling like it's a love offer because I'm really feeling this love offer from this King of Pentacles here. But there is some type of collaboration here that's going to be worked together. Some of you might be dating somebody who has a kid. I just heard that. Um, energies that I'm picking up on, fire, so Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Cups, Aquarius, or Libra, Gemini, 
No, that is air. And we literally have no air. Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. But what I'm really he hearing here is there is a working together, an exchange of messages in order to be able to obtain that Ten of Cups. And I, I love that it's also beside this King of Pentacles because not only are you seeking that love and that romance and that connection with these, with, with your soulmate, with your partner, with your the love of your life, you, you want to build this family with them. But apart from the loving aspect of it, you know, the one where it's emotional, it's a lot of like working together through feelings, through emotions. There's also the very practical side of you and your partner or soon to be partner or people in your life who are going to help you with this financial abundance, with obtaining your goals financially, Gemini. When we come here into your career reading, we have temperance, so patience, Sagittarian energy, but patience, really understanding that in order to be able to obtain that financial abundance, in order to be able to have this career that you are seeking, um, you there's an ebb and flow, right? A give and take that happens between the universe and you. And here you, here you are, even though this is a Taurian or Libra energy, I'm really feeling like this empress, this empress here is you. This is you in abundance. Again, Empress is also pregnancy. Um, so if you guys don't want to get pregnant, wrap it up. Um, but I'm also I'm just feeling here that you're feeling very abundant. And look, soulmate energy, king and queen of pentacles. Okay, even though it is an earth energy, it doesn't matter. Um, in this sense, what I'm really feeling is career-wise, you have it all. You have abundance of influx coming in of creative ideas, of money, of opportunities. Uh, career-wise, this month is looking fabulous. When it comes to love. Again, oh my gosh, I need to point. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So when I spread the cards out, if you used to watch my readings before, I do three at the top for career or for love, three in the middle for overall energy and three for career at the bottom. Literally, this is what, look at this. Soulmate, 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 soulmate. If you are single, you're not gonna be single for much longer because the sun is a major arcana. Sun is a major arcana, new opportunities, baby, again, oh my gosh, some of you are definitely going to be talking about starting a family together with somebody. This is also Leo energy. There's a decision here that needs to be made in love, and I'm really feeling that with the Six of Cups is, do we want to have kids? Are we ready for this? It's a choice. How do we juggle our careers? Both of you and your partner or soon to be partner are very career driven. And you're wondering how are we going to juggle our career, our finances, our businesses that take up so much more of our time in order to make this family happen. But I'm really sensing that you want this family. You really want this family. Because there's a childlike energy. The Six of Cups is also reminiscing of childhood memories. The sun is a baby. It's the baby it's the sun, it's the baby. It's new opportunities, it's newness, you know? And, and notice here, the sunflowers. What's in here in your overall energy? The sunflower. Yeah, you guys, some of you are definitely gonna be getting pregnant, so yeah. You guys are talking about starting a family together, about building that stability, that happy home, that that cohabitation, that working together. Um, that um, this is a shorter reading, but anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, this is uh, this is definitely about you all figuring out how do we create this ten of cups uh, family? How do we create that in our lives? How do we manifest that type of relationship that we are seeking? What do we need to do? For those of you that are new um, into this relationship, there might be talks about wanting to start a family together. It's almost like in the coming together that you are having with this person, or if you've recently had it with this person where you recently joined um, into this partnership, into this relationship, you both knew right away, knew right away that, that this is your person. There was no doubt. It was, you know, they say, so there's a lot of conversations about twin flames, right? Um, I have a few varying 
opinions on this entire twin flame journey and idea. Um, I'm of the belief that not everybody who has a twin flame is a romantic twin flame. But what I'm really feeling that is happening this year in particular is these soul connections, these divine partnerships, these people who have higher soul purposes to save earth, to help um, create good for, for earth, the, the greater good, right? Uh, there's this connection, the coming together of these people um, in order um, to be able to elevate energetically the vibration of earth. And what I am sensing entirely, Gemini, here is that you are coming together. What Like many others are coming together, but you are coming together like it is here. Trust, this is your soulmate. I, I think a lot of you already knew that. Those of you who are already in this partnership, you knew that. Instinctively, you knew that, Gemini. You were like, yeah, from the minute. From the minute you both laid eyes on each other, you knew that. For others of you, um, this new person that's coming into your life, you're thinking there's a there's a side of you that's going i want to create this family with this person i want to create this life with this person but how do i create this life with this person with everything else that i have going on in my life trust because this is your soulmate you guys are going to figure it out you're going to work together and you're going to figure it out gemini that's a really nice reading that's very beautiful very beautiful and I love the fact that you guys are thinking about babies. Send me your baby pictures because I have baby fever. Charlie is getting so big. He is my son. If you follow on Instagram or TikTok or my blog, um, you'll know I'm a single mom. I have a four-year-old. And um, I can't believe, like, he turns five this year. Where? How? What? I feel like I just pushed him out. Okay, let's get a Keepers of the Light. Care and compassion. Choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. And let's get a guidance goddess card. That came out. That came out really fast. Mary Magdalene. Unconditional love. Love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances might be. That's such a beautiful reading, Gemini. Oh, I'm wishing you all the love in this beautiful, beautiful time. I heard some of you are going to try and get pregnant on, on Valentine's Day. My guys are so funny. Anyways, I hope you have the most amazing February. Um, if you are trying to get pregnant, I'm sending you all the positivity in this earth um, in order for you to be able to manifest this beautiful child of yours. For those of you that are coming into union, and what a beautiful blessing this is with your soulmate. Let me know what you thought of this video below. Give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and make sure you turn bell notifications on so you can be the first to know when I post new videos. That's it for now. Peace out.